Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today I've extracted some clips from the Off Grid Ham Shack video. Clips regarding the Power Queen 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery I used to power the Off Grid Ham Shack. I thought this would be a great idea because Power Queen is having a Black Friday sale right now. Now in addition to this video, there's also a blog post up on oh8stn.org with recommended battery packs, links, and other promotions from Power Queen, which will help save you some money and also help out the blog and YouTube channel. So enough of my rambling, guys. Make sure to check out that blog post and the description of this video uh, to get the best deals during this Black Friday event. All right, guys. Ciao. The battery pack has a built-in 100 amp load BMS. In addition to that 100 amp load, the BMS provides overcharging protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, short circuit protection, and over temperature protection. The BMS also allows the battery to be charged with up to 100 amps of charge current. Certainly, the amount of load we can put on this battery pack is complete overkill for the off-grid ham shack. However, the amount of solar storage it provides the off-grid ham shack is critical to a successful outcome in a grid-down scenario. Now, one of the main features of this lithium iron phosphate battery is its parallel and series expansion capabilities. For our needs, amateur radio needs, where we're operating from 12 to 15 volts, generally speaking, we can connect up to four identical Power Queen 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery packs in parallel with this battery pack I have in my off-grid ham shack. This expansion capability allows us to connect four batteries in series for higher voltage or four batteries in parallel for greater storage. If we're running our ham radio gear on DC power, then parallel is the way to go because it maintains the voltage of the lithium iron phosphate battery, nominal voltage of 12.8 volts, but expands the storage capabilities. The 100 amp hour version of the Power Queen battery comes in at 24.25 pounds or about 11 kilograms. Despite the light weight, the Power Queen battery comes in at a fraction of the weight of a similar capacity AGM battery, yet offers twice the capacity of a similar capacity AGM. Finally, when we're trying to understand the investment in lithium iron phosphate batteries, we have to talk about charge cycles or the cyclic life of the battery. For this battery, it's 4,000 recharge cycles at 100% depth of discharge. This means we can charge it up discharge it and charge it again 4,000 times with 100% depth of discharge. After 8,000 charge cycles, we're looking at 80% depth of discharge or 15,000 charge cycles, 60% depth of discharge. Despite the initial cost, this is an excellent long-term investment if you're looking at it and calculating it that way. So far, I've been extremely happy with the 100 amp hour Power Queen lithium iron phosphate battery. I've been using the Power Queen 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery since August of 2023. Now we're approaching the end of November 2023, and I still haven't had any problems with it. I've been using it to power my ICOM IC705 and PA500E Expedition Amplifier, along with the EcoFlow River 2 Max, which I use as a supplemental redundant power supply for my Winlink station. Anyway, I've never steered you guys wrong in a piece of equipment on the channel before, and I won't start now. The Power Queen 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery is pretty freaking awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Rock and roll. Ciao.